Hi, I'm Jeff Hood and I'm Chair of the IRP Board of Directors. On behalf of the Board, thank you for taking time from your busy schedule to view this video. The purpose of this video is to provide information on Ballot 434, uploading data to the repository. You can currently vote on the ballot, and 12 jurisdictions already have. They've all voted in support of the ballot. You have through November 2nd of 2020 to cast your jurisdiction's vote. I'm going to go over a few of the responsibilities that are tied to the ballot, and then towards the end of this video, you're going to hear from two individuals in law enforcement to explain why they support this ballot. So let's start with the jurisdictional requirements. A jurisdiction would be required to upload on a daily basis the information commonly found on an IRP cap card and an additional data element called status. This information would go up to the new IRP data repository and be available to roadside enforcement in almost real time. Now, obviously this would allow roadside enforcement to validate registrations at roadside uh, check weights and things of that nature. So it would get them away from looking at the cab card, climbing up into the uh, cab of a truck to take a look at somebody's phone, uh, things of that nature. So it's a much better way to deliver the information to them that they need to do the work they do for us. So big benefit there. Now the ballot, obviously, we talked about uploading information. What's the implementation process? Well, you have two dates by which you can implement uh, your system and be in compliance with the ballot. The implementation date that you would first run into would be January 1, 2022. Now, this date is a voluntary date. You will have the system available to you. You will have been tested in advance and uh, you'll be good to go if you want to go that early. If your jurisdiction needs more time, you have until January 1 of 2023. At that point, it's required that every jurisdiction upload the information on a daily basis. So, we've got the timeline, we've got the fact that you can vote on this. What's next? Okay, who's going to be there to help you? Well, the IRP board will be there. IRP staff will be there. And recently, IRP Inc. entered into a contract with SafeGoSoft LLC located in Idaho to create a new IRP data repository. And they will be available to assist in this process. So all in all, we will get through this uh, together and at the end we'll have a much better process to support roadside enforcement. Now, we're going to have an opportunity to hear from people who really know what they're talking about. Hi, I'm Eric Belford, Bureau Chief for the Montana Commercial Vehicle Operations Bureau. I'm also the current chair for the IFTA Law Enforcement Committee, as well as a member of the IRP Education Committee. Today, I'm speaking out in support of the IRP Ballot 434. This ballot is being sponsored by the IRP Board of Directors and is viewed in a positive light by the law enforcement community. This ballot will allow law enforcement to receive more timely, accurate, and trustworthy data at roadside allow law enforcement to focus their efforts on carriers who are uncompliant and unsafe. In my 20 plus years of commercial vehicle enforcement, I learned early on that carriers who choose not to run compliant with credentialing requirements are typically not gonna run compliant with safety requirements either. In my current role in IRP administration, I've seen many times where carriers have been detained roadside by enforcement for inaccurate data. This is not only a bad experience for our carriers out there, but it's a bad experience for an officer as well. It also jeopardizes the trust that we need from the law enforcement community that we're going to provide them with accurate data. I believe this is a win-win ballot. I think it's a win for everybody involved, whether you're on the enforcement side, the administration side, or the carrier side. With all that in mind, I hope you join me in supporting IRP Ballot 434 and vote yes. I'm John Samus with the Delaware State Police and current president of the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance. The IRP Board of Directors is sponsoring a ballot which will provide the daily upload of registration data to the data repository in an accurate and timely manner that law enforcement can depend on while supporting the EVOC process. 
This timely data is essential in our efforts to improve highway safety. Having accurate and current data available for roadside enforcement is only one of the many benefits to the ballot. The ballot will support targeted enforcement aimed at trucks with expired credentials. Law enforcement officers will be able to obtain credential information on electronic devices and cab cards without stopping a vehicle and will not need to contact jurisdictions for credential verification. It will eventually eliminate cab cards and have the potential to interface the IRP data repository credential information with WIMS. The IRP data repository can serve as a backup in the event of a catastrophic jurisdictional system failure and support the waivers and extension process as during the COVID-19 pandemic and other natural disasters. The law enforcement community feels this is a positive step forward in enhancing the ability to accurately and effectively enforce the IRP registration requirements. We are asking for your support on this sponsored ballot. Thank you.